What's going on, baby? We live. Y'all already know, boy. Shit about to get really real. Really real. All you fuck boys, y'all go run in the closet because it's about to get real. I'm letting you know. It's about to get really real. Lamar Russian, what's up? Napier Kelly, what's up? Check this out. Okay, we at 2,000. Check this out. I want to go into this because this is some real shit. If you want to tell, if you want to find out what kind of person you dealing with or what kind of individual you dealing with, and that's male or female, <clears throat> Just watch how a motherfucker treat their kids. If you run an individual right now and you skeptical, you know something ain't fishy about him. Everything, it look too perfect. Everything just can't be this perfect. Watch how he treat his kids. Come and tell you something. If a motherfucker don't care about their flesh and blood, that mean they ain't going to give a fuck about you. If a motherfucker will run off and club every week and goddamn got kids at home and only want to see them on the motherfucking Sunday, but they want to club all week, they going to run off with your motherfucking dope. I'm going to let you know right now. If a nigga got any kind of kids and he don't do shit for his kids, don't you trust that nigga with nothing because he going to run off with your shit, dog. Because I'm going to tell you something. A nigga who don't do nothing for his kids will kill you, will steal from you, will lie to you. Because if he don't care about his own flesh and blood, what the fuck he care about you? He don't care nothing about you. So the first question I ask when I call myself developing a friendship with a nigga is this. Hey, dog, you got kids? Nigga say, yeah. Hey, when the last time you seen your kids? Yeah, I see them on the weekend, man. I be busy. I can't fuck with him. Come and tell you why. I'm a full-time father. I got three daughters. And ain't no way in hell I'm going to let another nigga raise my kids because my daughters, girls need their fathers. Little boys need their fathers. That's why these little young, dumb-ass niggas walking around with these tight-ass pants, hugging their hips, and walk around. They might well put on lipstick, boy. So you niggas need to be fathers. And I'm going to tell you something. If you don't do for your kids or spend time with your kid, you can't never get a dollar bill with me. I, it, ain't in, it ain't in God's work for me to do business with you. Use a fuck boy. Trust me. That's why I got them. Uh, what, what Kim K. Daddy name is? Uh, Rob Kardashian. What is that? No, he the cable man. Rob Kardashian the cable man. Uh, uh, got them Bruce Jenner. That's why he got them Caitlyn. He and Caitlyn because... He ain't had no motherfucking daddy to tell him, boy, I beat your faggot ass if you don't turn back to Bruce. You better jump in that motherfucking phone book and turn back to Bruce. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. So I'm going to tell you something. If you don't get down on your kids now, I can't fuck with you because you the reason our society fucked up. You the reason these young niggas walk around with these hip-hugging ass pampers on. Walk around twisting. Walk around with these long shirts on thinking they motherfucking fly. Them dresses, boy. Them my blouses, boy. Them my not fucking shirts. That's a blouse. You win a fucking blouse. You're a faggot. You're a fucking faggot. I don't got no problem with faggots. If you know you're a faggot, if you're happy and you're a faggot, clap your motherfucking hands. But stay your ass over there, though. But I'm going to tell you something. For you niggas in denial that know you a faggot. That's a faggot. Trust me. I walked in the men's store the other day to buy some shit. And I looked around. I said, this is the women at the men's store. The lady say, I, men. You know the Asian people. I, men, men. Ah, yeah. Men with this now. Men with this. I said, me no wear no shit like that. What the fuck is that? That shit too tight. I can't even get my motherfucking money in my jeans. Them jeans too tight. Men with this. This fucking self now. This is the hottest shit. You don't know? This shit is hot. Where the fuck you been at? Are you old? I say, I'm young, bitch. But I don't wear that. She said, you got to be old. Because all the young nigga buy this shit here. If you don't buy this shit here, you're not a young nigga. You might be old nigga. 
put in social security. I say, bitch, you go get your ass whooped. I told that old straight up. Kiss my ass. That what you do, you bitch. You kiss my ass, you she bitch. So, I just want to let y'all know, trust me, y'all making it hard on a pimp that go buy some motherfucking fresh ass clothes. Y'all need to start back wearing the big shirts like Soldier Boy back in the day that watched me you, Soldier Boy, that watched me Nay Nay, Soldier Boy. Y'all need to go wear that motherfucking shirt, the big shirts, the one that he used to wear on the video when I went there, he like he about to trip over his shirt. Y'all need to start putting them back on. I ain't talking about the goddamn shit that's cut like a motherfucking, yeah, that's a blouse, boy. You sleep in that. Your wife sleep in that. She can hold your shirt to sleep in it. And you can slide up in her. You wearing that, boy. You's a faggot. Check this out. Back to you scumbag ass niggas and you musty mouth ass hoes. Let me tell you something. If you bitches don't spend time with your motherfucking kids, what the fuck you think I'm going to take you serious, bitch? I can't bring you around my motherfucking kid because you don't take care of your own kid. What we going to do? Be two neglectful ass, deadbeat ass parents hanging out, talking about drinks on us? No, bitch. You can't be around me. Bitch, who raised you? Let me get a great baby. Where the fuck my great girls? I suck them hoes on vacation. Them hoes love me right now. Them hoes on vacation. Y'all bring y'all fuck. I know y'all sitting around here like, bring your fuck everybody. I need me some motherfucking great, bitch. That what the fuck I need, how I need them on ice. They got the new grapes. They got the ones that taste like cran cranberry. I need them grapes. Trust me. I don't want the shit like that. I only eat grapes, you bitch. <laughs> Check this out, though. Um, and, 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 and so you women who neglect y'all kids, y'all worse than men because I'm going to tell you something. It's... Mama's baby and Papa's maybe. So if you put a nigga before your motherfucking child, bitch, you's a scumbag. If you put the club before your motherfucking child, bitch, you's a scumbag. I just had a whole last night tell me in the strip club how she was dancing. She was getting that big old ass too big with fine, right? Bitch say, I got to hurry up. You know, I love my kids sleep. They got to wake up. They, I say, how old your kid? Four and five. I let them sleep. Don't, sh don't tell nobody. I let them sleep. They come to the script club and work. That's why I'm dancing for you. Bitch, get your fuck ass up. I don't fuck with you. You dumb ass bitch. Get your fuck ass up, ho. And I sent a bitch back home. Because she would have almost got a motherfucking child neglect charge. And I would have been part of it because that was this conspiracy, bitch. And you told me about it, ho. You ain't sending me to prison, you dumb ass ho. So I told that ho to go home. So... All you hoes that's leaving your kids for to go strip to the club or go to the blue martini bar with a new nigga that just want to fuck you because you got a fat ass, you's a scumbag, ho. I'm letting you know. You's a scumbag. A man supposed to change the way you feel about men. A man supposed to change your motherfucking address. You don't supposed to be staying at the wick, the health care, and the motherfucking hood no more. He supposed to want you to change from that. And a man supposed to change your what? Motherfucking last name, King James, around this bitch. He supposed to change all that shit about your fuck ass. If he ain't changing that, he ain't your nigga. Bitch, send his ass back to, I want to wear that tight ass shirt. Send his ass back over there. Because guess what? That ain't your nigga, ho. Your nigga posed to make you feel different about me. Ask all my great girls. Them bitches living the life around this bitch. Them bitches, they drip that and drink that like them. Trust me. Who the fuck raised you? Trust me. So I'm going to tell you this. If you want to know who you dealing with and a nigga running that good game or he telling you, yeah, boy, I'm a real one. I'm this, I'm that. Ask a nigga when the last time he seen the motherfucking four badass kids. If he ain't seen little Peter, Paul, little Michael, and little Tito in about a month or two, then you know you got you a scumbag ass nigga because goddamn, yeah, yeah. And it may, yeah, he one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He a old Ike Turner ass nigga. Send that nigga ass on the curve because he ain't shit. A nigga who spent time with his kids got a lot to lose. A nigga who spend time with his kids ain't gonna run off with your money because he wanna get back to his children. A nigga who spend time with his kids understand the principles of life. Every boss got a foundation. 
A lot of you niggas run around selling dope to impress women that ain't going to send you nothing if you got locked up the day of tomorrow. Them hoes going to change their number on your dog ass. Them hoes going to be like, who is this? Oh, this Tyrone, bitch. Bitch, they talking about 10 years. Ho, I'm the one that used to make it rain on you, bitch. Send me some of that money back from a commissary. Oh, click, bitch. That's how them hoes going to do you. You can't be fucked up with them hoes. You need to understand. Get you a real woman. I don't give a fuck if your baby mama fat. Get with that bitch. Them fat bitches, they pay. And they loyal you and they know how to cook. They season them be off the chain. How you think they got big? Dumbass nigga. So you better understand that you got to get you a fat bitch. And I fuck with fat girls. BBW. That's why I live all that weight. Y'all see my weight videos. I'm strong as a bitch. I got to put them big bitches over my shoulders and eat that motherfucking sack. Uh -uh, trust me. I want me a fat bitch. I want the pussy taste like chitlins. <laughs> no money, no buy. <laughs> Trust me. So I'm letting you know income tax coming up. So you better get you a big bitch. Income tax on the way. Get you a big bitch. So I'm going to tell you something. All y'all chasing these old fine, cute tail ass hoes. These hoes with a million followers sleep on the floor, bruh. They ain't got nothing. All these hoes who got a million followers, check their Twitter. They got 22 followers on Twitter, a million followers on Instagram and Facebook. Guess what? They sleep on the motherfucking floor. Them hoes ain't shit. Straight garbage. Matter of fact, they garbadine. They under the garbage. Believe me. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Them hoes ain't nothing. Trust me. Get you a real woman. Don't you cheat on your woman. Because I'm telling you something. What you think a bitch supposed to just wait on you to do right? Wait on you to want to marry her? Wait on you to want to take care of your kids? Wait on you to motherfucking want to... Bitch, a bitch ain't supposed to wait on you. And then all you niggas who think because you got a... Oh, I got a car. Oh, I got my own house. Oh, I got my own job. Bitch, you a grown-ass man. What the fuck you thought you pulled ahead? That come with the package, dumbass nigga. That ain't no upgrade. You pulled the hell that. I got my own car. The young nigga tell me the other day, boy, yeah, boy, I'm doing my thing, boy. I got me a Toyota Corolla, boy. I stay in my own in my little studio apartment, fool. Yeah, fool. Nigga just, uh, nigga just be cooking sometimes. Ooh! Nigga be out in the kitchen with the goddamn food stamp. I say, damn, bro, yeah, you doing your motherfucking thing. But you pulled the hell that. Don't be acting like that's something that, <laughs> like you doing something big. Doing something big is upgrading your lifestyle. If you living in a one bedroom, try to get you a two. You understand me? If you driving that Corolla, try to upgrade it to a motherfucking, yeah, Lexus Benz or motherfucking, yeah, yeah, a truck or something. Yeah, try to keep inspiring your life to do more. Because I'm going to tell you something. Just because... You, you you know, you might have a couple million in the bank. You ain't got to ride around in the flashy shit. You ain't got to have this nice ass watch of this brand or this motherfucking $1,800 shades I got on. You ain't got to have that just to show your wealth. You could just have money in the bank. A bitch ain't got to know who you is. At least you could go in the public. I had a motherfucker tell me the other day. Somebody just text me to my tell them. Whoever that is, I fuck with you. I fuck with you too, fool. Trust me. Check this out. I had a motherfucker tell me the other day, I was talking to Jay-Z, right? And you know what Jay-Z said? Jay-Z say, man, I trade my lifestyle with yours just to take my daughter to the park. I trade everything I had just to take my daughter to go get an ice cream. I can't go to my mailbox no more because paparazzi all around my house. I can't enjoy my fucking family meal in peace and spill some of my shirt. They laugh at me now because I'm Jay-Z and I'm worth millions. So you know what I told him? I say, you's a rich prisoner. I say, that's the problem with us folks. We want to look rich instead of get rich. Because see, if you were study trying to get rich instead of showing off, you wouldn't have to worry about what the fuck a person looking at or seeing. You wouldn't give a fuck about that. Because, see, at the end of the day, it's all about wealth and good health. If people know you got all the money and all that, they coming to get it. So stop trying to broadcast that you the brick man and you getting all this money. 
Keep that shit under the cover. You ain't got to be telling everybody that because the, you supposed to have more than you show and speak less than you know. You talk too motherfucking much. You would talk your way out of a deal. You talk too much. Y'all be walking around talking about all this shit. Stop talking so motherfucking much. Dumbass nigga. You talk too much. Shut up. Learn how to listen sometime. You ain't never going to get nowhere talking. You talk too much. How can you learn talking? What, you want to hear yourself talk? <laughs> Shut up. Talk when it's time to talk. But learn how to motherfucking, you feel me? Trust me, dog. And you dumbass nigga who get y'all income tax, don't care your ass to the script club because I'm telling you right now, they going to soak it out your, once you get that good lick in you, one time, they going to soak it up out your motherfucking ass, boy. They finna, I'm telling you, bro. When you get that good liquor in you and you got about 15, 2,000 in your motherfucking pocket, that shit gone, bro. You know when you break 100, bitch, it's gone. So don't go to the strip club. That's rule number one. I got another video coming out about that. Y'all get ready. But understand what I'm saying. Let's go back to the scenario. I can't judge a man's relationship with his mama. After watching that movie Blow, I learned that. All moms are turn they back on you sometimes. Like when we get mm -hmm. older, we realize that a mama a turn they back on you. Because they ain't obligated no more. There's no such thing as family. Let me tell you something. Family is the people that surround themselves around the same mission as you. That's family. All this shit back. Oh, uh, that's my blood. That's my cousin. That's not family. What family is... A motherfucker who on the same page and same journey and got the loyalty you display. All that shit by the motherfucker who, oh, oh yeah, man, that my cousin, that my brother. That ain't family, bro. They just look like that. Trust me. Family be the first one to show you that family ain't real because they know so much about you. You got to understand, a lot of motherfuckers realize that you come about this back room back here. And they used to seeing you come about that back room, so they think your mind small like theirs is. But they don't understand that God bless you with this gift. And see, this gift is what's going to manifest everybody in the house dream. Look at LeBron. He probably the only LeBron in his family. It come from that little room in the back when they used to probably, probably his mom and them probably talked down on him growing up. They probably ain't believe in him. But when he motherfucking start bowling and all that shit, then it start being LeBron because family... And friends don't believe in you until they start seeing money. When that shit turn into money, not everybody's showing up like this. Bro, let me hold something, bro. Bro, damn, bro, I knew. Bro, they gonna start telling people how much they knew you was gonna make it. When you fuck around and make it, your family gonna walk around with stories. Boy, they always know what's something special about him. Bro, I told that little young whippersnapper ass to get it. That's how people is. People believe in shit when it's all... You ever pull up to a house when it's being built and be like, damn, that shit gonna take forever. But when that shit start coming together and start, they putting the paint in, they putting the final panels up and it's looking beautiful. Now you want to show up to that motherfucker because it's already finished. That's how these gold digging ass motherfuckers around you is. All these motherfuckers want to wait till you done made it already. And then how you gonna be part of my motherfucking progress when you were part of the process you feel me you got to be part of my process in order to be part of my progress because the process is the one that's going to show me if you need to be around me when I touch this motherfucking money you don't need to be around me when I done made it already because you're going to smile you going to laugh when it's time to laugh. You might hate my motherfucking girls. You going to play like you love me and all that. Yeah, you going you probably be my bitch. You probably fuck me when you don't feel like fucking. But you probably fuck me when your period on cuz I got this money. Oh. But let you goddamn find out that I'm trying to make it and I ain't there yet. Bitch your ass going to play $2 shot with me. You going to be faker than a $3 bill with a nigga. Trust me. Shout out to my man VHS out there with the Hairline Solutions. I see you, baby. <clears throat> VHS, what's up? Victory Hairline Solutions. I see you. Trust me. They on the uprise. 
Yeah, man, but this some real shit. So like I was saying, you can't judge a man's relationship of what he do with his mom and his pops. You understand me? Because everybody was treated differently as a child. You know, um, you got some kids in your household that look that resemble the parent that you don't fuck with no more. And you treat them, you take out your hate towards this child because he looked like the motherfucking daddy. Or she looked like her mama. And you can't stand her mama. So you take it out on this child not knowing that God watching your dumb ass do that stupid ass nigga. So now, when you take it out on this innocent ass child that don't know nothing about what the fuck you felt about her mama or, or her daddy. And you taking it out on this child and you wonder why God ain't blessing your dog ass. Because you taking it out on an innocent child who ain't asked to be here. Stupid ass nigga. That's dumb. You need to understand this. A child ain't asked to be here. Because y'all ain't work out. Don't you take out that relationship off that motherfucking with that sorry ass nothing ass wit collecting ass bitch on your child. You be there in that child life. Because that child going to take care of your dog ass. You changing their pampers now. But when you get a little older, they going to change yours, stupid ass nigga. You need to understand that. Right now. It's so much dumb shit going on in the world. And I want to speak on it. Because we got to change the world. And we can't change the world until we change ourselves. I'm letting you know right motherfucking now. You will never change the world until you change yourself. So you got to change your habits. You got to change your mindset. And the way you change your mindset is you change your outlook. You open your motherfucking mind to different things. Now, I ain't telling you to be so goddamn adventurous that you start questioning yourself. I'm telling you to open your mind because the world is bigger than your motherfucking block, bro. The world is bigger than your motherfucking hood, bro. Understand what I'm saying, bro. The world bigger than all that. So you need to goddamn take advantage of this good air you breathing and understand that we got to get there. You understand me? Real shit. Just know that. I'm looking at y'all. I see it. I appreciate you, Hussein. I appreciate, appreciate you, Samir. I appreciate you, Sammy. That's love. You understand me? Y'all make sure y'all share this video right now too, man. A lot of people saying they want to see it on y'all timeline. Y'all make sure y'all share it right now too, man. Make it share everybody watching what's going on. You know what I mean? Because it's real. This all real and this is what the world need. The world ain't got no leaders no more, man. It's sad how the world just changing for the worse. These young niggas ain't talking about nothing on these rap songs. And I'm going to tell you something. A lot of y'all ain't got nothing between y'all ears and that's y'all brain. So guess what? When y'all listen to these whack ass rappers that ain't teaching you nothing and you think they, oh, I don't even want to diss nobody, man, because it might sound like a diss if I say some songs, dog. Because these my homeboys and they don't know no better because they dumb as fuck. What you put in your ear all day is what you going to become all day. That's going to increase your mood. If you listen to gangster shit, you're going to be walking around looking to be a gangster all day. If you listen to love shit, it puts you in the emotional stage. Sometimes you can tell a lot by the person by what they listen to. I'm a grown-ass man. I listen to Sade. Yeah, I listen to Marvin motherfucking Gay. Yeah, yeah, I listen to that shit because I want to be in my right mind. I listen to motivation all day. I stay motivated. I stay hydrated with motivation. I listen to Tupac all day because I want a message. You know what Tupac say? He said, I learned not to trust a bitch from a prostitute. He say, I ain't got time for bitches. I got to keep my mind on my motherfucking riches. He said, can the church say amen, amen? He said, and he said, he said. Shout out to my man. You understand me? Mad Max in this motherfucker. Trust me, man, Max Stevens, what's up? He said this, though. You better get off your ass if you plan to be rich. That's what Tupac told me. You feel me? You understand me? A lot of people say, and there's no pun intended to the legend, Notorious B.I.G., but I think Tupac was the most influential, influential rapper in the fucking world ever. Ain't nobody close. Nobody. You know why? Because he gave a message. And he was before his time. 
And see what happened was he didn't structure his message to the point where he started getting too powerful. And they had to shut his ass up because they was realizing he knew somebody. So you got to understand about that great Tupac Amaru Shakur because he's a fucking prophet. And he spoke this shit into existence. And the shit I'm saying right now, one day y'all gonna be playing back when I'm dead and gone saying he knew somebody. Because I refuse to settle for a hood mentality. I refuse to settle for minimum wage. I refuse to settle without letting my dream manifest. Tupac told you, dear mama. Yeah. Tupac said, I'd never call you bitch again. He admitted to calling her a bitch, but he said, I'd never call you a bitch again. Because he realized how to say, I'm sorry in the record, how we talk to our women every day. Baby, I know how to fuck, though. I'm sorry for calling you a bitch, but uh, you feel me? Understand what Tupac did. Y'all want y'all to text right now some of y'all favorite Tupac quotes. Teach me something. Teach me some shit, because Tupac, I miss motherfucking Tupac. I miss motherfucking Pimp C. Yeah, that's who the fuck I miss. Big L, yeah. Big Pond, yeah. I miss people that taught me something. And one day y'all gonna miss me. So enjoy me while you have me, because we all got an expiration date. We all ain't gonna last. One day we gotta go. And I speak from the motherfucking heart. Let me tell you something about me, man. The reason I speak from the heart because I know that God ain't create none of us with no type of different motherfucking magical power. Can't nobody jump in the air and stay there. So I'm not afraid to say what I feel about you to your motherfucking face. And I'm not afraid to say what I feel about you on air motherfucking video. California love, dear mama. Harlem. That's what's up. What's up, Harlem? What's up, uh, Link Way Harlem? I see you. Blasphemy. That's right. One in the million. I see you. Lord knows, Tupac, the game been good to me. That's right. Staring at the world through my motherfucking review. And know what? That's a message in itself. Because when you go on this motherfucking way, you ain't got time to be worried about what the fuck going on. You too far focused on the motherfucking future that you just watching the world fall down all in your motherfucking review. Yeah, changes. Yeah. What's some more Tupac quotes? Give me some quotes, man. Give me some quotes, dog. Make me feel like he right here with me. Because that's Tupac. That's the greatest. You understand me? Man that ever did this shit, man. The right way when rap was really real. Life goes on. That's right. How many brothers fell victim to the streets? That's right. There's a heaven for it. That's right. Straight bowling. All the way up. Ballad of a dead soldier. Boy, y'all got some. I got some OGs on my line. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Until the end of time. What you know about that? Huh? Hold your head, only feel death. My ambition is crazy. That's right. Diamond and wood. Yeah. That's right. Me against the world. Tupac made you understand it was him against the world. All lies on me. Damn right. Yeah. 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 And you know what's so sad, man? And I shed a tear for this shit. Tupac mama is up there in heaven with Tupac right now. She able to see her son. You understand me? Right now. So... That's the most saddest but most realest thing that can ever manifest. Because for the rest of our life, even in your kid's life, they're going to play that song on Mother's Day. Dear motherfucking mama. Understand what I'm saying. So what, what, with all this said by Tupac of my root, Shakur, let's tell you, let me tell you this. Learn how to appreciate y'all hometown rappers. It's a lot of talent out there in your city right now. And you know these young niggas got talent. Support these young niggas. Don't try to say rest in peace, bankroll fresh when he die and he can't smell the roses. Don't try to say rest in peace to Pimp C when he die and he can't smell the roses. Don't say rest in peace to all these niggas and try to get them a day on the radio on their birthday. And when the PD got to tap you on your motherfucking shoulder and tell you it's Tupac birthday, dumbass nigga. Don't try to support them when they dead and they can't motherfucking see it no more. Support them while they here. Because one day they got to go. So appreciate they art. Appreciate what the fuck they stand for. These artists display art. They got some type of talent. Push these artists in your city, man. You think they going to stop your dollar because you pushing them before you? Stop trying to be so selfish. That was wrong with you dumbass niggas. Y'all selfish. Support each other. 
only one doing that is Atlanta, and they make up for 40% of the motherfucking rap game. And right now, 70%. Go listen to it, little Uzi Vert, all these young niggas. Little motherfucking Migos, all these niggas. It's from Atlanta. They from the A. Support your hometown rappers. Why the fuck we got to go out of town to make it? Why the fuck a stranger the one going to make our dream manifest? Why the fuck it can't come from family? And I'm sweating when I'm telling you this shit. Because I mean this shit. With all my motherfucking heart. Why the fuck the God got to wrap a stranger up in the gift package and say, Huh, here go your blessing in the skies. Why I can't come from the people that got the means in our family to help each other? I'm sick of this shit. Y'all around here playing, help your people get on. Push a motherfucker. All you hometown radio DJs, if y'all don't support y'all hometown rappers, don't even play my shit because you's a fuck nigga. I don't fuck with y'all. I don't give a fuck what problem you got with M nigga. I don't need you. I don't give a fuck because I got the streets. So if you don't play your hometown music and you want to support another nigga that come to the city, you's a whole ass nigga for that. Support your hometown heroes, dog. Stop being selfish, dog. Fuck you think we gonna come up from you supporting out of towners, nigga? That's why they getting all the money and going back home, dumbass nigga. Y'all ain't getting no money out there because y'all ain't got no attraction out there. All y'all got is the motherfucking Oakland Raiders. Or all y'all got is the motherfucking Charlotte Bobcats or, or goddamn, yeah, New York Knicks. Get you some goddamn hometown hero. Build a nigga up. And he going to bring you up in return because God going to see to it. Because if he do you wrong, God got him back for your ass. Understand what I'm saying. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Y'all already know we the business.